guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today i wanted to come on here and unveil my october sephora play and then i'm also going to review my september for sephora play so that way there you guys can see whether or not the products i got i felt were actually worth getting in the bag because sephora if you're not sure if you're not familiar with the sephora play bag it is ten dollars a month and you sign up through it on the sephora website so you get every item that you get in the bag it can be purchased at sephora so that makes it a pretty cool bag that you know where you're going to be able to purchase these items so let's get started with the september bag and let you guys know what the items were and how i felt about them so first of all the bag that it came in looked like this it had this little lipstick thing on it and it said this it says this is not just a lipstick which I haven't heard anybody say that they knew what that meant, so I'm not sure what that means, to be honest with you. So the first item I'm pulling out that I tried was the Dr. Dart Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer. It says that it's an instant burst of hydration for dry skin. It brightens dull, lackluster skin. It's long-lasting moisturization. So this stuff is actually really, really nice. I did enjoy this. I didn't feel like it gave me any kind of acne issues, which that's always my main concern when I try different skincare products. Is does it cause acne because I have acne issues anyway and this one did not seem to cause any acne issues you put it on it's like a it comes out like a white cream I'll show you it comes out looking like a white cream and then you rub it once you rub it in it disappears but then it turns into like a watery liquid and it's just really really nice and sits really nice on the skin I feel like it works really well under makeup but I feel like the best time to use it, honestly, is at nighttime. It's not a super rich moisturizer, though. So if you're someone who's looking for a very rich, thick moisturizer, this isn't it. It's like a water formulation. It honestly is when it says water drop. That's honestly what it feels like when you put it on. It has a water consistency to it. I really did enjoy this, though. I definitely would consider purchasing a full size. But the size they gave me here is a one ounce. And this is actually going to last quite a bit because it says you need to use this sparingly. You don't want to use a bunch of it at a time. I'm not sure why. But it tells you to use it sparingly. So I'm excited to continue to use this. And I, like I said, I would consider purchasing a full size of this. I'm not sure what the full size of this is. If I find out, I will list it in here so you can see what the full size price of this would be. The next item I had in my bag was a perfume. They always send you a perfume. And the perfume they sent me this time was the Tory Burch, and it's the Jolie Fleur Verte. I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. I'll show you the back so maybe you can do a better pronunciation than I can. So this is just a florally scented perfume from Tory Burch. I actually did really like this, but I don't think I would purchase it because it's, to me, it's a good perfume, but it's not my type of scent of perfume. I typically like a more of a warmer scented perfume, and I think this is more of a cooler, like a, not really cooler, like as in like warm tones, cool tones. I think it's just more of a flowery scented perfume, and it's just not something that I honestly would consider purchasing a full size of. Not that I don't like flower perfumes, I do like rose scented perfumes, but I just feel like this is more, a little more sunflowery scented. So I'm not sure what the notes are, but I will have them listed in here also for you so that you can see what the notes are in this perfume. So if you typically like a perfume that I normally like and you know, hey, she doesn't like that because it's too florally, then maybe it'd be something that I wouldn't like. Or maybe you like the opposite of what I like, then again, the notes would be helpful for you. The next item I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the clear brow gel. I actually really do like this brow gel. I feel like it's a really good formulation. You put it on your brows. I don't feel like it makes them feel flaky or anything and it doesn't dry them out. I really do like this brow gel. If you're someone who has like an outdoor event and you want to make sure everything's set in place, I feel like this is a great brow gel to use. I don't use a brow gel on, a, on like a daily basis, but if I know I have like an outdoor event to go to or if I just want to make sure everything's like polished and perfect or whatever, I feel like this is a good brow gel. I know there are some brow gels on the market that are in like from the drugstore that you can get that are probably about the same, but I really do like this one and these small sizes actually will surprisingly last you a long time. So if you get one of these like this, you're going to find yourself using it for quite a bit of time before you're going to need to repurchase or actually you might get another sample of it. That's how it's been for me. I honestly haven't had to purchase a full size of this because I seem to always get a sample of it and they seem to last me a quite a bit of time. So I really do enjoy this. The next item I have is the Sephora Rouge Brilliance Rouge Shine Lipstick. And it is what is on my lips. It's a pink shade. It is called the Brilliant Shine in the shade Love Spell. So the little tube itself is actually super adorable. I like the tube. Here's what the tube looks like. It has Sephora written all the way around it. And then it's just a nice silver, like bullet, not really bullet, it's just a silver tube. And then the lipstick looks like this. It's a pink. It reminds me kind of like a Barbie pink, but when you put it on, it's more of a sheer pink. So let me put it on my hand so you can see it. 
So when you put it on your skin, on your lips, it's not real pigmented. So it's not going to be something that's going to be like a bold pink. I don't typically like a super bold pink lip, especially not during like the fall and the winter time. So I think this will actually still work well because it's not super pigmented. It's more of a light wash on your lips and I really like it. It feels really nice on your lips. It's very moisturizing. I wouldn't say it's long lasting though. So I wouldn't say this is something that you're going to put on and have to, and you'd forget about it for the rest of the day. I would say you put this on and since, such, since this came in such a small little style of lipstick tube, it'd be easy to slip into your pocket and, and reapply throughout the day. Or if you purchase the full size, I think I would just throw it in my purse and just reapply it throughout the day because it's something that is going to wear off. It's not kiss proof. It's not budge proof. It's, it's going to move. So the next item, and like I said, I probably would purchase a full size of that because I really do like the shade of it. I actually am going to look into different shades that they have in their line because I feel like it's a very comforting, moisturizing lipstick on your lips. It feels really nice. The next item I have is the Kat Von D. This is the, what is this, the Trooper Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I thought it used to say Locket, but I, I, I think maybe I'm wrong. So this is just the Kat Von D. Eye, eyeliner. I really love this eyeliner, but I'll be honest with you. If you are looking for something to like get and you don't really want to spend the money on the Kat Von D because I think the Kat Von D is around $20. So if you're looking for an eyeliner that's going to work similar to that, I would suggest looking at the Jessie's Girl on. I have this Jessie's Girl right here and it honestly, they perform almost the same. I don't really see much of a difference. They have a similar tip to them. I'll show you. The tip is very similar and I'll show you if you apply them how they work. So this is the Jessie's Girl right here. And you see it's a bit, it can be a very thin tip. And then the Jessie's Girl, how it works, you just kind of pump it into the tip right here and that will pump more, more liquid into your brush tip of your marker. And I'm pretty sure the Kat Von D does the same thing, yes. Kat Von D is the same thing. You pump and you can get more onto the marker tip and the Kat Von D is like that. So as you can tell, I think they're very similar in formula and both of them are very nice and waterproof. So they're not gonna come off on your, like they're not going to run down. You're not going to have those black tears running down. So you won't have that issue. I really do love this eyeliner. I think it's a nice one. But like I said, if you're looking for something similar, but you don't want to spend the price tag on the Kat Von D, I would check out Jessie's Girl because Jessie's Girl, I think, is around $6.99 for, and this is a pretty good size of, of a tube here. I'm not sure what, like, what the ounces or anything is on it, but it's a really good eyeliner. You can find it like online or like if you have a Rite Aid that happens to carry Jessie's Girl, they do have them there also. And then the last item that I had in the September bag was the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Nightcap Overnight Perfector. I really liked this overnight cap. I actually went, because it says it's pillow, like pillow proof or whatever, you're not going to mess up your pillowcase. But I actually went and bought myself this little nightcap. It's really funky looking. But I went and bought this just in case so that it wouldn't get onto my pillows. But even wearing that, I didn't find that the, the product distributed onto the cap. I had no problems with it whatsoever. I think it's a really nice product. It felt like the next day after I used this, my hair was very soft and very luxurious feeling. I feel like it, for me, I feel like it helped to kind of detangle my hair more easily after I've taken a shower, after I've washed this out. I feel like my hair detangled a lot easier than it would have if I would not have used this. I feel like it's a nice moisturizing product for your hair. I really do like the scent of this one also. There are some products from Living Proof that are a little bit peppery scented, but this is not. This is not one of those products. This smells a little bit more clean and just like clean hair and, and like salonish. I really do like this one. I would definitely consider purchasing a full size of this also. So it's for me, for my September bag, I feel like it was a complete win. I think everything I got in my bag was awesome. I really am starting to, not really starting, I have been loving the Sephora play bags. I feel like they do a fantastic job in throwing some items in there that, that you can get good use out of and know whether or not you'd actually like to purchase a full size. And, if, and again, if you'd like to purchase a full size item from your bag, then it's easy to know where to find it. You just look onto Sephora and, or go into Sephora and you can get every product that you tried out in your bag. So now let's check out the October bag. So the October bag looks like this. It says lipstick and chill. Let's see if I can get it to pull all the way open so you can see it. Kind of, sort of. It's hard to see. Anyway, that's what the bag looks like. I really have been liking these little duffel, not really duffel. I don't know what these are called. They're just little bags. But the only problem I found is if you're not careful, these little um, ribbons can go all the way through and then you have to figure out how to fix the ribbon. So just be careful with the ribbons on those. But the bags themselves are really cool and they come in handy like if you're going to travel to kind of throw things down into and you have an easy access little bag here. I actually used them for when we traveled the last time to throw some cords into and just cinched it tight and there you go. All your cords are in one spot. 
so let's see what all we got in here so the first item I'm pulling out like I said you always get a perfume and I got the YSL Mon Paris this is the perfume I got let me show you what the package looks like and then let's open it so you can see what it actually looks like a bottle perhaps uh, yes so here is what the little bottle looks like it's just a little bitty small size but it is a spritzer which I like the spritzers better than the ones that are like the drop formula I feel like the spritzers I can get much more use out of unless you have an atomizer which I do have one of those too so if I get the ones with the little drop I just pour those into the atomizer and I'm able to use them up a little bit easier because when you have those drop ones it's just it's just they're pain in the butt honestly so this one is well let's find our paper here actually too so four does send you a little paper with your your box when it comes and on the package you're going to see that it has a little card here and this card if you take it in store you can get 50 points onto your rewards account as long as you spend some as long as you I think you have to purchase something in the store you can't use it online it has to be used in store which unfortunately for me because we don't have a Sephora near me so I don't visit there very often so let's see what it says about this perfume it says this month's perfume pick is Viva La Fragrance uh, YSL Mon Paris inspired by love for sophistication and allure of Paris the scent layers fruity and floral notes over a musk over a musky base. So let's see what it smells like. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Right now, at first whiff, I'm not liking it. It just smells a little too musky. So for me, I'm not liking it right now. Maybe it has to sit for a minute, but right now I'm just not loving it, to be honest with you. It's not something that I'm planning on purchasing right now, right off the bat, but I may have to let it set and then kind of melt with your skin because different perfumes on different skin tone types, different skin, your pH or whatever in your body will react differently. So I may just have to let it sit and see what happens. So now let's find the next item in the bag. The next item I got is this Aborian Korean Skin Therapy. It's a bamboo cream frappe. It says it's a skin reviving fresh gel and it's a, this is 0.17 ounces. So here's the little contain, little bottle of Aborian cream. And let's see what it says about it into the book. Um, it says, This deeply moisturizing gel cream with a unique frosty whip texture sinks effortlessly into the skin to revive and to refresh. So it says, Just to gently massage it into a face after cleansing on busy morning, it also works as a good makeup base. So you can use this as a primer or you can use it just to moisturize your face. So I'm excited to try that out and see how good it is. I love Korean skincare products because I know that they, that's something that they really focus on is skincare. So I really have been loving the Korean line. Um, the next item is this Pharmacy Skin Dew. It's a hydrating essence mist and setting spray with Enhancia Green Envy. So here's what the little bottle looks like. And then I will read a little bit about it so you guys can know a little bit more information on it. So let's see what it says. It says, yes, I do. Pharmacy Skin Dew Mist Invigorating Facial, facial Mist is just the thing to freshen or set makeup add moisture and to soothe your skin. So you can set your makeup with it. You can choose it to soothe your skin. You can use it however you prefer. I can actually do a little spritz of this to see how it smells. Because certain skin, certain ones of these little facial mists smell really good. Some of them have no scent at all. So let's see what kind of scent this has. Oh gosh. The sprayer is like very concentrated. It's not like, I don't like the sprayer. I can tell you that right now. I don't think it does good over makeup. I can tell you that because I feel like the sprayer is very concentrate into one spot. I don't feel like it's, it evaporates out, which is how I prefer a sprayer to do for my face. This one's just kind of like, I have a spot here and a spot here now. Not liking that. It smells a little minty, and I'm not sure if that's a, the enhancia in it, but I do smell a little bit of mintiness to it, so I'll have to try this out a little bit more to try to see how it works. I'm actually not going to use it over top of makeup again. I probably will continue to use it before I put my makeup on to just kind of hydrate my skin before I put my makeup on. So I'm excited to give that a shot for this month. The next item is this Christoph Robin. It's a mask. It's a regenerating mask with rare prickly pear seed oil. Hmm. So here is what the actual container. This is a pretty decent sized little jar too. So let's see what it says about this product. So this Christoph Robin regenerating mask with rare prickly, prickly pear seed oil is a sumptuous and full of anti antioxidants. This conditioning hair mask strengthens hair strands while enhancing color and shine. It says, after shampooing, apply a small amount to hair and work from scalp to ends. Let it soak for just a couple of minutes, then lather and rinse completely. So I'm excited to try that. I think I've had this before, to be honest with you. 
it smells like like Pond's like day cream, like the the cream that you put on your face. It smells very good and clean. It, it reminds me of Pond's for some reason though. So I'm excited to try that out. Never had that. I, don't, I think I have though. I can't say I've never had that because for some reason that Christoph Robin it like brings back a memory, and I think I've tried that, but maybe I haven't. I don't know. The next item I have is the Essay Edit Flash Photo Gloss. So this is looks like it must be like a glue gloss or something. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's a lip gloss. It looks like maybe a clear lip gloss. So here is what it looks like in the container. And it's by Estee. So let's read a little bit about this. It says, get bright on it. It says, the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder photo, Flash Photo Gloss is an innovative high shine gloss with cool blue undertones that make teeth appear brighter. It's the ultimate must have for selfies. Hmm. It says how to apply. Swipe it on over bare lips or lipstick. The iridescent finish will complement any shade. So I'm actually going to try this out real quick just to see how it works real quick, you guys. Put it over top of my lipstick. Mmm. Got lipstick on it now. Hmm. Does it make my teeth look whiter? I should have done like a before and after. I'll have to do that. I have to do like a before and after to see how it does with my teeth. So I'm excited to try that out and use it for this month. And the last item in my bag is a Smashbox. What is this? I'm not even sure. It just says Smashbox on it. So here's what the actual container looks like. And let's read a little bit about what this product is. Smashbox Always On Matte Liquid Lipstick in Driver's Seat. I think I got one of these in one of my Sephora favorite sets. I'm pretty sure because, I, yep, that tip looks familiar. It's got that really awkward looking tip. It says, matte, matte liquid lipstick keeps going for eight hours with a water-resistant non-feathering formula. It says, how to apply. Dab off any excess product. Then outline the lips with the applicator's tip. Use the larger end to fill in lips with color. To customize your look, try layering with different lip shades. So, I think, let's see, does it have that really funky wand even on this little one? It does. It has that really weird wand. Look at this wand. This is the one that reminds me of a Tolvo cleaner. <laughs> I don't really know why, but every time I see that wand, it just kind of makes me giggle. I really do like the scent of this. It has a very faint but good scent. It's like very sweet, almost florally scent, to be honest with you. But that's a really pretty color, too, and that looks like it'd be a great color for fall. Did it say what color this was? Oh, driver's seat. So this is the shade driver's seat. So I will be trying that out for this month. I know I already like the one that I got in my Sephora play. But this is a different color, I'm pretty sure. So we'll have to see how well this color works with my skin tone and everything. So that is everything in my October Sephora box. I'd love to hear if you guys are getting the subscription service also. And if you're loving it or if you're interested in getting it. What's some products that you're hoping to try out? Or if you already have it, what are your favorite products that you got this month? I'd just love to hear some information from you guys too. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.